And first at five, Texas may have a new voting law, but don't expect any major changes in the two upcoming elections. There is one later on this month in order to fill a seat that was left by Representative Pacheco and the constitutional amendments as well for the election in November. Yeah, SB1 was uh, signed into law yesterday, but it's supposed to go into effect 91 days after the last special session ended. Jesse DeGollado says among those who will be waiting and watching are the Bear County's election administrator and San Antonio's disability community. The new law won't be affecting Bear County elections anytime soon. It won't go into effect by law until December at the earliest, depending on the swirl of pending litigation trying to stop the new voting law. We are in a holding pattern, so at this point, it will have no effect on the two upcoming elections that we're doing. But when it does, says Callanan. I do believe it will have some effect. I absolutely believe it. Just as many in the disability community say they had feared and predicted. They're frightened. They don't know what to believe. A disability advocate with RevUp Texas says, for instance, the new law will make it harder for disabled voters to get the help they need. Their uh, attendant may be uh, charged with a felony if they help them fill out even their mail-in ballot. They'll also have to verify the reason why they need a personal attendant to help them vote. It would be a new form with a new requirement, but right now we don't have that. What's to come, says Kafka, will no doubt be a setback. At a time that we're building the disability vote. But in response, he says, starting next week, September 13th to the 20th is National Disability Voter Registration Week. We're going to do everything to try to educate our people and keep the turnout going. But it is right now sending a chilling effect. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.